Noise is terrible, isn't it? Now, noise in photographs is really frustrating and it tends to happen when you take an underexposed photograph and you correct the exposure. Once you start pulling those sliders in Lightroom, that is when you increase the chance of introducing digital noise, which kind of looks like this. Now, it's not very nice and it's very easy to fix. So I'm gonna take a photograph, I'm gonna correct the exposure, and then I'm gonna fix the noise that I introduce by correcting the exposure. All will be revealed, stay tuned. So here is a lovely photograph of a man on a bike in the early evening in Madrid. Now I say it's a man on a bike, but you can barely see him. And that is because the photograph is massively underexposed. So I'm gonna fix the exposure and then I'm gonna correct the noise. Now you might be thinking, well, I can't see any noise, but trust me, noise is on its way. Once I start lifting the exposure in this shot, the noise will appear. And I'm gonna use the detail tools to correct the noise. So let's make a start. So firstly, let's take a look at the histogram, which can be found just above where the tools live. And we can see that in this left-hand corner, we've got blacks, then we move across, we've got shadows, general exposure, highlights, and whites. Now clearly everything, or there's a major part of the information in this photograph is on this left-hand side where the blacks and the shadows live. Now that indicates to me that this shot is underexposed. Now, of course, we know it's underexposed because we can see that just by looking at the image. So we need to start correcting the exposure using the basic tools to bring the exposure to where it should be. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Now, obviously, when I start doing this, this is when you'll start to see the noise appear in the photograph. So first of all, let me show you exactly what noise looks like. So I'm gonna open up the basic set of tools and I'm gonna lift the shadows up to 100. And then I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the noise. Now, noise loves an area of one flat color. And you can see, as the sky is an area of one flat blue color in this case, you can see that the noise has appeared and it's quite strong. It's not as strong on the buildings, but trust me, it is there. But it's more noticeable, as I say, in this area of one flat color. And uh, as I continue uh, editing this shot and fixing the exposure, that noise is likely to get worse. And we will use the detail tool to get rid of that noise. But first of all, let me continue with the shot in fixing the exposure. So let me put the shadows back to where they were. And, uh, and I'll take you very quickly through how I correct the exposure in this shot. So firstly, I am gonna lift the shadows, but not as much as I did before. So roughly round about there. Now, it's kind of blown out a little bit in the center of the building there, isn't it? So I'm gonna drop the highlights. Now, if I drop them too much, it goes to a murky, horrible gray color. So I'm gonna back that off and maybe round about there should do it because I will be lifting the whites. Now let's lift the blacks now up to, I don't know, let's just, I'm doing this by eye. <laughs> uh, I reckon round about there should do it. And as I said, I will lift the whites as well. So I'm gonna lift the whites up to round about there. Now that looks pretty good. Also, I think I will add a little bit of dehaze, which is like, a, for me, it adds a little bit of contrast. I kind of like that. And I may put a bit of texture in later on, but for now I'm gonna leave that out. And then I'm just gonna do a general exposure lift. Uh, not too much though, but probably to around about there. Maybe 40. Okay, now that looks much better, doesn't it? But like I said earlier, the more I pull the exposure and lighten the shot, the more chance there is of adding noise. And you can see the noise has gone even worse than what I showed you earlier on when I just increased the shadow areas. So that is a lot of noise to get rid of. So my next job here is to get rid of that noise. So to do that, I'm gonna use the detail tools. So let's jump across to the, where the tools live and open up the detail. 
and you can see there that we have a sharpening set of tools and a noise reduction set of tools and we're going to start off with the luminance slider so when you begin to remove noise from your image it's a good idea to zoom in because you can see things obviously in greater detail and you can watch that noise hopefully dis disappear now I suggest that you put your finger on the Alt or Option key, depending on if you've got a PC or a Mac. When you do that, nothing happens until you start dragging the luminance slider and it will turn the image into black and white. Now it does this only temporary because sometimes watching colors on your screen can be a bit distracting. So um, it's a good idea to kind of well remove the colors so you can see it in black and white now look at that that noise has disappeared doesn't it so i'm going to let that go take my finger off the alt or option key and you can see that that noise has disappeared once you've done that you can then play around with the detail slider and the contrast slider to maybe bring some of the details back if i just have a little play around with that you're always conscious of the fact that you're not going to bring more noise back into the shot. Now your image that you're correcting is obviously going to be different to mine. I don't need to mess around with those guys too much. So I'm going to, with that in mind, I'm going to jump straight to the sharpening set of tools and I'll begin to sharpen the image. Now again, like I did previously with the Alt or Option key, I'm going to put my finger on that and I'm going to drag this bottom slider and this will show me exactly where I am going to make the sharpening corrections. And really you just want outlines and you don't want to make, you want to make sure that you're not bringing any more noise back in. I reckon somewhere around about there looks pretty good. And then I can start to bring in the sharpening. And again, keep my finger on the alter option key will take it to black and white again. And I can play around. What I'm looking for is to bring the detail back into this brickwork here. I don't want to be losing any of that, the detail in the bricks uh, or the stonework. And that's not too bad. I can see the joints, you know, between the stones and that looks fine, doesn't it? So let's just take a look at that. And that looks marvelous, doesn't it? That looks really, really good. Now it's never gonna be perfect. You're not gonna get rid of 100% of the noise. And sometimes there is a danger that if it's an exceptionally noisy shot, which this one was once I made the, those basic corrections, you might introduce some blotchy or banding areas into the shot. This isn't too bad. I've seen worse, um, but unless I go looking for it, it doesn't look too bad, does it? I think that looks great. Here is a before and after then. So this is the way that image started off. Now, Maybe you've got images like this that you've taken and you've thought, crikey, that's not worth keeping because it's underexposed. But it just shows you that just some basic corrections using the basic tools and then applying some noise reduction and some sharpening. It can go from what you can see on the screen here to something that looks like that. And I think that looks great, doesn't it? And that's all very, very, I mean, how long did that take? It was really quick, wasn't it? So have a go on some of the images that you've got that are perhaps underexposed or noisy and best of luck. So who knew removing noise could be so simple? And I hope you enjoyed that video. Please consider, well, who knew, well, who knew, who knew removing noise could be so simple? Now I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to be notified of further videos. But above all else, thanks very much for watching. I've really enjoyed your company and I'll see you in the next upload. Take care. Take a photograph and make the moment last ever.